and there is something going on. Well, no, no, here, here's some people coming now. Okay. Okay, are we ready to go? Shoot. Okay. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the third podcast of uh, Got Pain. And uh, uh, my my partner, Crime, here, they, it, they said it wouldn't last. And here we are on the third episode, right? So tonight, and I just want to be transparent right from the get-go, tonight, guys, we're just going to work some crap out. And when I say that, I very literally mean we're going to, we're talking about gut health tonight. And uh, uh, some of these conversations are not uh, uh, for the dining room table, but they are for the boardroom table sometimes. And so here we are. And uh, we want to give you guys some tools and some strategies that, that will help you. And I want you guys to really do some Google searches. Search like what autoimmune conditions are related to the gut. Search what emotional diagnoses are related to the gut. Search what inflammatory conditions are associated with the gut. So we all know that when we have problems with digestion or constipation or diarrhea, those are gut problems. But what may not be real obvious is there's a whole lot of things that go to the gut. And if I get stuck in an elevator for a few minutes with somebody and I wanna change their life and I've got just a little bit of time to go over a topic or two with them, a couple of all-star moves that we do with the gut sure change the game. And so uh, we're gonna try to just cut to the chase tonight and give everybody some strategies that will just greatly increase not just your gut health, but your total health. And so if you've got pain that's related to the gut tonight, we think we have your solution. So, so when we're talking about the gut and, and maybe in terms of, uh, uh, of other topics that we'll, we'll do in the future, but specifically with the gut, the gut is not just a chemical problem. It's not, a, it's not just an emotional problem. Uh, it's not, not just a structural problem. There's many components of this. So you, you really need a team and a, a strategy of things that layer on top of each other. And if you do one good thing, you get a little result. And if you do two good things, you got twice the chance to get fixed. And if you do three good things, you got an even better chance. And if you do all 17 things we recommend tonight, uh, by the way, uh, it's our goal to always give you some free things that you can do right in your house uh, that uh, don't cost a thing. We want you guys to get better and everybody here, no matter what your resources, will, will leave better than you got here. That's the goal. So, so uh, if we can, can we bring our triangle up and let's give our philosophy of why we're doing what we're doing. So guys, the internet needed another podcast uh, like, uh, like an old guy needed another hill spur. So we're not doing a podcast for the sake of just doing same old thing. What we're doing is we're taking a guy like me who does a lot of structural and chemical work in his practice, who has a deficiency with his patients because I don't do any emotional counseling. I don't do any psychological counseling. I don't really help people tremendously with that part of the triangle. And if you look at your screens here, in the middle of those three things, is, and we ought to add this word in there, we ought to add the word health. You have to have three things to have health. You have to have a good structure, you have to have good chemistry, and your, your emotional part of your being has to be functional. So one without the other leaves us in dysfunction. I don't fix emotional. So, so I've got some really great strategies I feel like I can help you guys with, with the chemical approach to, to uh, gut health. And, um, and, and I, I, I know that I can't help with the other side of the triangle. And that's the purpose of this podcast is we wanted to bring together all the tools to help the whole person. And so I partnered with uh, one of the top uh, mental health practitioners in the world. Actually, he's got the largest mental health practice in the world. New York Times bestselling author, a really good guy, really good friend of mine. I'm excited like a little kid uh, on Christmas morning about doing this because I absolutely love doing this with uh, Dr. Alex Lloyd. Alex, why don't you say hello and uh, take over? Thank you, Laura. You can take that screen down, please. All right, welcome everyone. Thank you so much. I want to remind you uh, from my two cents why I'm here and I completely agree with everything Dr. Tim said. Um, I did not share this last week and uh, probably should have, but 
I believe we're here for three things. Number one, to save you a bunch of money. Bankruptcy is the number one cause of bankruptcy in the United States by far, pro approximately 64% of all bankruptcies. So if medical expense hasn't hit you sideways yet, just wait, all right? Mm -hmm. One night in the hospital can, can mean you're underwater financially, all right? Um, a week or two weeks in the hospital can mean you never can catch up financially. And it happens every day, all the time, all over America. Number two, we wanna help eliminate uh, the thing that's stealing one third of your healthy lifespan. We should be living to somewhere over a hundred healthy if it were not for the effects of stress on the chemical, structural and emotional of every one of us. And the research now says that a teenager today has about the same amount of stress as someone in the 1950s that would have been committed involuntarily to an insane asylum, okay? Meaning if that teenager today was back in the 1950s, they would commit them to an insane asylum, which may be your child or, or uh, someone that you know and love. And number three, what Tim just said, we're gonna try to give you ways to eliminate the number one, complaint of virtually every person on planet earth and that's pain emotional or physical pain all right and we're going to do that through freebies we're going to do that by telling you the one perfect nutrition for every issue let, let, let me read a couple of things um really quick um Linus Pauling in 1976 was awarded the Nobel Prize for proving that vitamin C could cure the common cold, basically, all right? In 1973, 50 years ago, guess how much money total was spent on nutrition, on nutritional supplements? Around $30 million. 30 million, you got that figure, 1973? All right. Today, how much you think is spent on nutritional supplements from 30 million 50 years ago? 30 billion today. From 30 million to 30 billion. You know, a you know, you know, a billion is a thousand million, right? Not a hundred. Alex, you sound like Dr. Evil. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, if you go on Amazon and type in vitamin C. All right, just one one supplement, vitamin C. You know how many choices there are? Two thousand. Vitamin D, two thousand. Mm -hmm. Right. What's my point? It, everyone is starting to come around to the idea that natural nutritional supplements can change your life, but you pick the wrong one mm -hmm. and you are putting dollar bills in the toilet and flushing it, all right? How do you know which of those 2,000 to order? I mean, you think they're all the same? Let me tell you, they are not remotely the same. Some are made in China and are full of junk and mislabeled. Some of them are actually illegal. Some of them are, are out of people's basement. And a lot of them, and, and almost every single one of them is a little bit different, okay? So besides giving you free things to do at home and with things that you already have at home without having to buy anything, if you want to go the nutritional supplement way, which I would highly recommend, hoping I uh, take lots of supplements every day and, and our health has gotten better and better, we're gonna try to tell you the one perfect one or the two or three for each issue that we discuss to cut through the junk and tell you the one perfect one, all right? Now, I just wanna reinforce something real quick because I've had some of my people respond after uh, coming to this program last week or the week before, wait a minute, are you just saying that this guy's the top practicing chiropractor in the world? Are you just, no, no, I am not, okay? And, and you see his face, that embarrasses him. He doesn't like me saying that. He's uncomfortable with it. 
And that shows you something about the kind of man he is. And that's why I'm doing it with him and, and, and no one else, all right? But let me tell you, I have intimately known and worked with at least 300 chiropractors all over the world. I built my practice through chiropractors. Um, Dr. John Brimhall was the top chiropractor mm -hmm. in the world for years. He endorsed me and my first book and everything else I did. Uh, Josh Axe is considered the most famous chiropractor in the world today. He endorsed me. I helped him start his thing. Uh, uh, Dr. Lou Oberstadt, the head of the Tennessee Board of Chiropractic, endorsed me and, and, and what I do. I know a little bit about this, folks. I have never seen any other chiropractor anywhere in the world do what Dr. Tim does. And that is not just something new I'm saying for this program. I've been saying it for 25 years, all right? It's not a secret with people who know me, all right? And for me, it was a home run to get Tim to do this because I wouldn't have done it with anybody else, all right? So tonight, we're gonna, we're gonna show, Tim is gonna teach you two free things for, um, gut and intestinal and stomach health. I'm going to teach you one free thing for gut and stomach and intestinal health. We're going to tell you the perfect supplements for that if you'd want to go that way. And I'm going to share with you a way to heal the emotional side of stomach and gut stuff um, that, that, that I believe really goes to the source of it and can heal it permanently long-term along with these things, these other things we're gonna share with you tonight. So in the second half, in our second 30 minutes tonight, I'm gonna to unveil what I believe is another huge bombshell thing that can change your life almost overnight. So please try to stay with us at least to like 32 or 33 minutes until we unveil that. But, for, but right now, Dr. Tim, how about you take off on uh, structural and chemical and maybe give them one of your freebies and, 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 uh, and let's start that way. And then I'll come in after you with my freebie and the emotional, and then we'll tell them what the perfect supplements are if they want to go that way and take some questions and answers and be done. So Alex, I'm happy to do that. And if uh, you want to uh, add something to any part of this, you won't throw me off at all. Please jump in. And uh, if you need to put an exclamation point on something. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me just follow up that little introduction, which I have no possibility of living up to. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Lloyd said there was a few people who thought I was the top practicing chiropractor in the world. That's him and my daughter. And so those are the two. No, so, it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, well, it's really so we'll not. Move on. We'll move on. But, uh, uh, but she was a competition dancer, and I was able to get uh, add to her career with some things that I do. So, uh, but, but anyway, we, here's the thing. Uh, we want to provide you with some things that will make you the best you can be. So if we're talking about the best in the world, let's make you the best you you can be in the world. And that's where we want to go with that. Now, I want to start out with talking about uh, everybody's front yard. So now that it's spring and the, the rain's coming down and the grass is getting green, everybody wants to have the prettiest front yard in the neighborhood so we can make all the neighbors jealous, right? So to do that, we've got to get all the weeds out. And then when we get all the weeds out, we have all those bare spots in the yard. We've got to put some grass seed down so that we have some uh, pretty grass growing where those spots were. And then before it gets hot, we've got to make that grass seed strong and fertilize it and water it so it takes hold. So that's exactly the way that we fix the gut. We weed, we seed, and we feed. And so what everybody forgets to do is they forget to do step one first, and they don't even know there's a step three, and then they do, they, they do step two first, second, third. And step two, which will take the least of my time tonight with you guys, is taking probiotics. Everybody and their mother and their brother and their mother's brother knows that you're supposed to take probiotics. But I will tell you, step two has a major deficiency, major deficiency. And we'll talk about that in order tonight, second. But first, I want to talk about step one. Uh, Laura, can we put the weed slide up here? So guys, just like your front yard, we can't grow pretty grass seed 
where there's a weed and we can't get good stuff in there. Uh, uh, okay, so guys, I wanna talk about this. Uh, uh, you know what, let's do it this way. Go ahead and take that down if you will. We'll just put those up at the end. I didn't realize they were gonna come up like that. Excuse me, sweetheart. Uh, so the, uh, the, uh, the weeding formula, we have to do it first. Now, my favorite gut weeder is a supplement called berberine. Now, the reason I use berberine is because berberine kills a bacteria in your gut, mainly a bacteria called uh, archaea. And when you have that, you have an immense amount of bloating and gas and discomfort. You feel distended. Uh, you also have a tremendous amount of constipation. You can't eliminate like you're supposed to because of that harmful bacteria. And uh, Alex, if you'll give me a few minutes, I'll go as quick as I can. I wanted to talk about something called SIBO. And this is gonna be the least profound nutritional thing you've ever heard. SIBO stands for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And uh, Alex, they call the small intestine small because it is small. It's about one inch in diameter. And so it's not very big. So if you have something that is supposed to be in the large intestine, and by the way, they call the large intestine, the large intestine, because it's large, it's about four inches in diameter. So I want you guys to think of it this way. If I put a biscuit in the oven and I put yeast in my biscuit, what will happen? Alex, I'm gonna put you on the spot. What will happen to the bread if I put yeast in it? It'll rise. And yeah. if, if I put too much yeast and too big of a biscuit, it'll kick the oven door open and then all the heat goes out in the kitchen. Well, that's what happens with SIBO. The things that you have room for in your large intestine, which remember is large, don't cause discomfort, don't cause gas, don't cause bloating, don't cause distress, because we've got room for them in the large intestine because it's large. But if they grow back up into the small intestine, we have a lot of distress because we don't have room for that. We're under pressure and our biscuit opens the oven door and we're miserable. Now, if you're in the room with somebody whose oven door gets opened by their biscuit, everybody's miserable, right? And we, we, we all know we've all been there. So what we have to do is we have to kill not just that gas causing pathogen, but a bunch of the other pathogens. Now, every intended nutrient does what it does a primary thing. And then there's some other things it does. So, so a lot of times we get asked, well, what are the side effects of, uh, of uh, having this nutrient in your system? There are some, and I can't do anything about this. You got to take the fleas with the dog. Berberine helps your blood sugar. So this might cause some incidental weight loss and there's nothing I can do about it. So uh, that's an intention. And then it, it lowers your cholesterol. And here's why, think about it this way. If, uh, Alex takes me out to eat dinner and it's his turn to buy and we have cheeseburgers because uh, he's tired of that nice fish that we had at Morton's. So he takes me to have cheeseburgers and we go eat a bunch of cheeseburgers uh, and uh, that sits in our gut way too long. We not only absorb the cholesterol from that once or twice, but maybe three, four or five times. So our cholesterol goes way, way up because our gut isn't clearing, okay? Now, when I talk about clearing, for all of you guys, you put this in the chat bar, for people who have taken berberine before, you know the clearing I'm talking about. We're clearing, we're weeding the garden. And matter of fact, Alex, we used to talk about our athletic accomplishments, dunking a basketball or going for 30 on the basketball court or whatever. Let me tell you, man, the accomplishments I'm pretty proud of now happen every morning about nine hours after I take my berberine. And uh, I feel pretty accomplished to start my day when I take berberine because I have done great things from the very get go. And I want you guys to do that too. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. And, 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 and I will say that 30 years ago, that was not even on my radar, but today it is a major blessing and if you remember how Dr. Adair started this, we're going to cut through the crap today. Yeah, uh, that, that was related to this. Go ahead. Absolutely. Please. Yeah. And so you, you, I, I'm going to redo my, my resume. Now that I've got berberine in my life, 
I need to uh, I need to put some. Uh, would pictures be too much? Do you think that yeah, would, would be too much? Too much. Yeah, oh, okay, we'll, we'll, that. we'll hold that. that. So, so guys, we want to weed with berberine, and we'll pull that slide up here at the end and show you guys the product that has that. Now, here's the kicker. Moving on to step two. Remember, we weed the bad stuff out, and then we got to put the grass seed in because now we got bare spots. So we talked about the biscuit kicking the oven open and not having room in the small intestine for the stuff that should only be in the large intestine. And Alex, this would be a perfect time, I guess, for me to go ahead and give my structural component. And uh, yeah. you did fantastic with this with me last week. Why don't you play along and then we'll just tag team this. So uh, let me try to get turned here where everybody can see me. So everybody put your arm up here. Let's see if I can get the camera the right way. I'll scoot maybe this way. Okay, now if you see, let me get back like this. If you see the bend in my arm, if I go from the very end of that bend and I move up and we get right up on the elbow, right here in acupuncture, right on top of the arm, and you can wiggle your thumb back and forth and you can feel a sore spot right there. Yeah. Okay? That is the tonification point of the large intestine meridian. Okay, now that little sore spot when we do acupuncture with that, either with magnets, needles, lasers, whatever technique, that grossly improves the function of the large intestine. If we don't have those appliances, we do acupressure and we work it like 90 seconds at a time in a rotational, vigorous uh, movement round and round and round. And what, if you're sitting in the appropriate place with your pants around your ankles when you do this, you will get a tremendous response. Now, I'll say this, you got one on each side, so we need to do both sides to tonify the large intestine. So, uh, so you can find, and, and, and it's where the sore spot is. Now, when you're taking berberine and you've done a colon detox, it gets really hard to find your sore spot because your colon's not toxic anymore and the tenderness goes away. Now, if we're gonna give a little add-on to that freebie for the structural correction, I would say this, has anybody ever heard of a squatty potty? Yes. How yes. So if you get a little footstool out of your closet and you put your footstool in front of your toilet while you're sitting literally on the throne, put your feet up on your little footstool, do your, now make sure the door's locked, nobody sees you doing this, okay? Uh, this, this is ruined marriages. But I want you to grab your tonification point and go round and round and round on both sides for 90 seconds with your feet up on the footstool and watch the difference it makes in the difficulty of, of you being uh, highly accomplished early in the morning before work yourself. And, so, and, 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 and Tim, can I interrupt a second? Sure, please. Ladies and gentlemen, what Tim ju is just sharing with you you would pay 150 bucks for if you went to a professional and they treated you to try to do the same thing. They wouldn't teach you to do it. They would do it and then have you keep coming back until it's better paying them every time. He's just taught you how to do it yourself. Go ahead. And, Tim. and Alex, in a lot of places in the world, the toilets are much lower. And sometimes there's a toilet seat on the ground. And quite frankly, if you look at the, the amount of uh, colon disease in those populations versus in the United States, uh, there's some merit to having your knees above your hips when, right. you're, uh, when you're doing your business. So that's our, that's our structural freebie. Now, let's move in from weeding the garden or weeding the front yard to seeding the front yard. And, and what we want to do, uh, the grass seed that we want to lay down is we want to lay down probiotics, okay? Now, let me tell you this. I've included a probiotic, and we'll show you the slide, and, and I'll, I will be transparent with you guys. I've been in practice 26 years, almost 27. This is probably my 25th probiotic. I've spent a tremendous amount of time trying to find the best recipe. I had a sweet uh, family I got to see today, and uh, no names, but uh, the mother was really smart nurse, and the daughter was really healthy, great athlete, having a few little problems. But she told me, and we got to something, she told me that this young lady had very few antibiotics, way fewer than most children. But as a five-year-old, I believe, five or six-year-old, the young lady had gotten a C. diff infection. So a C. diff infection, a Clostridium difficile, 
is a type of bacteria that emerges when the com competition bacteria is killed out. So they killed the germs and got rid of whatever it was, ear infection or strep throat or whatever. But not only did they kill the bad germ, they killed some of the good germs. So one of the huge reasons why we have a bacterial imbalance in our gut is because we've taken antibiotics and we've killed our good guys as well as killing our bad guys. So for most everybody on this uh, uh, call tonight, we've, as a population, we've had way too many antibiotics. But I told you, everybody wants to do probiotics and that is not the right thing to do. You can't just add probiotics. And so I wanna take you from the analogy of the biscuit in the oven. And now I want you to picture me and Alex playing musical chairs, okay? So if the music stops, and Alex gets his butt in the chair before I do, then I bounce off the chair and I hit the floor. There's no place for me as the probiotic to properly seat myself if somebody's in my chair. So what I have to do is I have to give Alex some berberine so he gets out of that chair and he has to go sit somewhere else and do great things. And when he, when he vacates that chair and I've got an opening, then I can seat in that chair. And that's what the probiotics does. There's a 2014 study at Johns Hopkins University at the medical school about just taking more and more and more probiotics. It is, is not at all uh, helpful. If you're full, there's no chair for them to sit in. They have a very mild, minor effect. So we got to weed before we seed. okay? Now, now we got to feed before we, uh, after we seed. So we got to weed, seed, and feed. Now I want to go from my biscuit to my musical chair to an acorn. And if we plant an acorn and we put miracle Grow on it and we water it every day and we play classical music around it and we tend our garden, that acorn will grow up to be a really mighty oak tree. And that oak tree will make acorns and those acorns will drop to the ground and they'll embed in the soil and the rain will rain on them and we'll uh, have more and more oak trees. And then we have a forest. And that's exactly the way that you build your gut flora. Now, here's the thing. If we go to the nursery this weekend and we buy an oak tree and we don't water it, we don't fertilize it, we don't do anything, in two or three weeks, we'll be at the nursery buying another oak tree. And we'll have to plant it. And in two or three weeks after that, if we don't learn our lesson and we don't water it and we don't fertilize it, we'll be back and we'll be buying another oak tree. So, so here's the kicker, guys. Berberine is a lot of times uh, uh, not necessary for long-term use. Total probiotics is not necessary for, for long-term use. So I like to put everybody on two to six months, depending on how much gut pathology that they have and how much dysfunction, how much autoimmune stuff, how much inflammation. Uh, the more of those you have, the longer you're gonna be on my gut program. And so uh, two to six months, some really healthy people, closer to two. People got a lot of difficulties with the health, probably do all of these for about six. Uh, with stealth infections like Lyme's disease and that type of thing. Um, uh, Alex beat a testimonial out of me. One of my sweet ladies who talked about some of the work we did together uh, after 11, 12 years of failing medically with Lyme's disease, we were able to get her about 90% better, not cured, but 90% better. Instead of in bed five days a week, she's in bed five days a year uh, with Lyme's disease now for the first time in over a decade because we fixed her gut, we played musical chairs, we bumped, we weeded, we seeded, and, and we, how do we feed it? Uh, and we uh, got the good stuff growing, and now there's no room for the bad stuff to flourish because we've rebuilt her gut. That's what we wanna do with you guys. Now, what I use to rebuild the gut is an odorless, tasteless nutrient uh, called a prebiotic inulin. Inulin comes from chicory, I don't like chicory. I don't like chicory tea. I don't even like saying the word chicory. I like the stuff that's in chicory. It's pre prebiotic, not probiotic, 
it's prebiotic inulin. So, so let's confess, uh, Father Alex, uh, I know you're an ordained minister. Can I change you to the, the Catholic denomination for about 30 seconds? Go ahead. Uh, Father Alex, may I, may I confess? Now don't call me that. Don't call me that. Well, you're, you're so much older than me. I thought I could call you Father <laughs> Alex. So, uh, so, uh, uh, so actually, I always, uh, always call Alex and I call him brother. So he, he's my brother from another mother. But uh, tonight, he's, he's Father Alex. And let me confess, I drink too much coffee. Some people drink hot tea, whatever, but coffee's perfect because for me, I put my prebiotic inulin powder in my coffee. I don't taste it. It's just part, I don't even think about what I'm doing. I just grab it and dump it in there and I have no, no, all it does is cool it down just a smidge, which makes it perfect as the steam pours out of the top and I get ready to uh, take my berberine pill and uh, do great things. And so I love my prebiotic inulin. Now I will do it always because I always want to fertilize my oak tree because I always want my oak tree to make acorns. And I always want to fertilize my acorns because my, I want my acorns to make oak trees. And once I have a forest, you can't see through my forest and no weed will grow because no sunlight gets in and my prebiotic inulin and my prebiotic diet will never ever stop. And you'll do that forever. The berberine, you won't do forever. The total probiotics, you won't do forever. Hopefully, we're going to teach you guys to, to fertilize and build uh, build your garden. Now, Alex, I have one more chemical freebie, and I can do yeah. that now, or I can do yeah, that later. Go, go for okay. it, and then, and then I'll do uh, bring my thing in and my freebies. Uh, okay. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me just share this with you. I love this. This is good for 19 health conditions, but it's perfect to do in our, uh, in our rebuild the gut uh, uh, protocol. So we talk about, uh, Alex, do you know what an audio file is? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Someone who, yeah who's, that's their thing. That just love it's music, always have yeah. to have music in the background, this and that. So all the medical terminology stuff is in Latin. So the word file means to love and an audio file will love music, right? So everybody talks about probiotics and they'll talk about acidophilus. Well, uh, I want to pronounce that. We're Alex and I are in Middle Tennessee, so we're going to reveal ourselves right now. I want to pronounce that acidophile. So if audiophiles love music, what do acidophiles love? Acid. And the acid that is the, the, the cheapest and the, the probably already in your house that we're talking about is the carboxylic acid that comes from good old apple cider vinegar. OK, so now I got a little recipe and uh, we'll, I want you guys uh, and you can hit the rewind button on this. But we'll, we'll, we'll uh, post it. We'll post it. To you. OK, so here's the recipe. I like to take about 12 ounces of water. And uh, let me make sure, and I, I, we have this uh, where we, we have it, uh, where we can't mess up. So if you guys have a lot of gut problems, I want you to start with one uh, tablespoonful of apple cider vinegar per 12 ounces of water. I do two tablespoonfuls of apple cider vinegar per 12 ounces of water, but I didn't start there. I grew up to it. Uh, I want everybody to start with one quarter teaspoon of like McCormick's cream of tartar. Cream of tartar is a spice in the spice rack and cream of tartar is absolutely the bomb for uh, potassium uh, supplementation. Now, potassium is kind of dangerous. One tablespoonful or one teaspoonful of uh, potassium is almost 500 milligrams of potassium. Don't do that. I said one quarter. OK, so uh, 100, 150 milligrams of potassium. Fantastic. Uh, but every time we do potassium, we want to do sodium. My favorite is Himalayan sea salt. And we do Himalayan sea salt, about half a teaspoon of that. So, so 10, 12 ounces of water, one tablespoonful apple cider vinegar, quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, half teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt. OK, now. Uh, when we do that, we want to squeeze one uh, lime in there. Guys, this is fantastic. There's actually a, most, uh, a strange thing about limes. Limes have something in them called limonoids, and limonoids are more abundant in limes than they are lemons. So I don't, I don't know who named limes limes, 
but they got it all wrong. But here's the kicker. When you do this, there's something called glutathione esterase. And glutathione is basically the garbage man that helps you take some junk out. And when you do this drink, you're not only getting the apple cider vinegar, the, the acid, because we gotta make your acid ophiles happy in your gut, but you're giving yourself the minerals to help you to stay hydrated in your gut. Alex, when I was training, we had an older gentleman, he would not call the condition constipation. He called it concretion. Have you ever mixed up concrete in a wheelbarrow? Yeah. What happens if you don't put enough water in there? It, it doesn't work. When it's too thick, it's hard to scoop. And let me tell you this, guys, when it's too thick, it's hard to poop. So if we want to be good at scooping and we want to be good at pooping, we have to add water. But here's the thing. You ask every sweet lady on the call tonight, what happens when she eats something with a lot of salt in it? She'll go, oh, I retain water and uh, I can't get my rings off. I, I, I get swelling in my feet, my hands. We want you to retain water in your concrete. And when we got your mixture good, uh, we're not full of concretion. We can, we got a slurry that we can move around and not only can we scoop it, but we can poop it. And we're making our good bacteria uh, uh, full of acid. And that is your chemistry freebie that not only helps gut health, it helps hydration, it helps mineralization, uh, it, it, it helps with elimination. So brother, I think my work is done here and I'm gonna pass the baton to you and I get to go and be the student and learn uh, some good things from you. And Alex, I, I, I will transition with one thing. And this is my big failure. Um, in my practice, we, we do, I feel like we do good work with gut work and we get constipated people pooping. We get people that have lots of gas pains and bloating uh, almost instantly uh, to get results with this. In like four or five days, we start getting better. Four or five weeks, we start getting cocky. Four or five months, we're bulletproof, we're fearless. Uh, but when we have people who are dealing with a um, tremendous amount of emotional stress, we always talk about nervous stomach. We always talk about, and I have to tell you, I have a sweet lady that comes to mind in my practice right now. She had a sudden loss with her significant other. And what was crazy about it was the stress of that actually helped her gut, not hurt her gut. She got better when this gentleman finally passed. And, I, and, it, and I, it drove me crazy. And then I remembered this old thing that I think you taught me 25 years ago. There's, a, there's an associated emotion with the small intestine with vulnerability. Yeah. And this sweet lady felt so vulnerable because she couldn't help her really sick, significant other. And so when he finally got relief and he finally uh, moved on to a better place and wasn't in pain and wasn't distressed anymore, her gut function got better because her vulnerability was resolved. And so please add to that and uh, take it. And I look forward to learning what you got to teach us about. Thank you, man. Yeah, thanks so much, Tim. Uh, fantastic stuff. Guys, um, it, 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 if you have gut issues or, or uh, being regular issues, stuff like that, and you don't do these free things that, Tim is sharing with you, I don't know what to tell you. You must not want to get better, but I believe you do. So I, I expect to hear next week when we do the Q&A about a bunch of you talking about things being more regular. Okay, Laura, if you can put up my uh, acupuncture procedure, please, on the screen. Do you know what that is? Do you know which one that is? The one you put together for me. Yes, here we go. All right, here is my freebie. This is for, guess what, Tim? You nailed it. Vulnerability, the, the emotion, feeling, um, challenge, fear, anxiety of vulnerability, of, 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 of something's going to get me. I'm not safe. Something, all of that. Plus, plus stomach pain, 
the energy of stomach problems. You know, acupuncture points and meridians and all that are all about underlying energy because every cell in your body, every cell in your brain, every cell in your heart, every cell in your bones, every cell, period, is electric, all right? So if the electricity and the energy is not right, ain't nothing going to be right, all right? So this is, you will not find this anywhere else, okay? Um, I've, I've, I've developed this, all right? Um, and so this is what you do. It's several steps. I believe it's four steps. You do each one for two to three minutes with two fingers massaging in a clockwise position, all right? And it's simple. And I'm going to post this right under this call. So if you go to where this call is posted tomorrow, and we'll let you know that, uh, under, under the recording of the call, this document will be there. And I'm going to see if we can get Tim's documents put there too. So all of that will be there. We're going to do that every week, OK? So um, and I would, I would I always say this, OK? This is not required. But I would always do this, pray and focus on the stomach pain being healed, on your vulnerability issues, even if you don't know you have them. If you have stomach and gut issues and intestinal issues, you probably do have it. You just don't know you do. So pray about that and that those issues will be healed, whether you ever know about them or not, okay? So step number one, is on the right side of your body. This is um, uh, illustration number one, BL21, okay? That's the name of the acupuncture point, BL21. It's right above the small of the back on the right side, just a little bit. You can see it there in picture number one. This is for gas, bloating, stomach pain, vulnerability, everything that goes with vulnerability. There's like 10 other emotions that go with vulnerability. So you massage with two fingers in that area of your back for two to three minutes in a clockwise motion. All right, then you go to number two, which is called ST36. Uh, it is on both legs. I've illustrated it on the right leg, but it is actually on both legs. And Laura, if you can move that screen up a little bit. Um, yeah, so they can read all of number two, all right? So ST36 is right where you see it. It's on actually on the right and left leg, but I would do the right one. You can do both if you like. And it's exactly the same thing in a clockwise motion with two fingers for two to three minutes. Then we go to number three, ST25, which is on both sides of the um, of your belly button or navel. All right, ST25, and you massage both areas at the same time in a clockwise position with two fingers for two to three minutes. All right, number four, and you see it's called PC6. It is on the left hand, right about here. You see my hand right about here, all right? Same thing, massage in a clockwise motion with two fingers for two to three minutes. Then uh, raise the screen up just a little bit, Laura, for number five. This one is on the left hand and it's right here, LI4. Now, what's cool is that this one here, you can, you can also use and massage to get your headaches to go away, all right? And you can actually buy little, uh, little acupuncture um, devices that'll cost you like 30 bucks that is just a plastic thing that you stick right there that puts pressure there and and you can feel your headache getting better but you don't have to have that device for 30 bucks just massage with two fingers clockwise clockwise massage motion two to three minutes so that's a total of about 10 minutes two minutes each approximately on each of those and do it until the pain goes down, until your negative emotions go down, 
and the energy, the negative energy of your gut, intestinal, and stomach stuff starts to switch to positive energy. All right. So that's the freebie for everything emotional and energy related to intestine, stomach, gut, and vulnerability and the negative emotions that come with that. All right. So that's a freebie for that. And Laura, if you would put up the trilogy um, slide now, please. No, the other one, the other one that has the actual page. Sorry, that the informational. The informational page on trilogy. Yeah, there you go. All right, right here, right here. Okay. Um, this is my, uh, this is probably my crowning uh, thing. I'm not even going to call it an achievement, okay? I'm getting older, all right? I've been at this for over 30 years. Uh, I was kind of known for the healing codes, and I always felt like I could maybe up the ante a little bit on that, and this is it. This is my next book, but it's not going to be out for a while. Trilogy, I had a, I was doing a workshop in um, Europe, Tim, and this sweet little college uh, lady came up during a break, uh, which happened a lot, and she said, um, I'm enjoying the workshop, but I got a question. She said, I'm new to all this energy stuff and, and emotions and, and natural health and all of that, but I'm really into it. But she said, I got a question. I Googled, of course, she's 20 years old. I Googled energy medicine. And that was like millions and millions of, of sites. I, I Googled energy psychology and there was millions of sites. Now, now way more for energy medicine than for energy psychology but there were millions of sites for both of them. And she said, my question is, first of all, where do I start? And secondly, even if something works for me, how can I know that something else might've worked a whole lot better? Because there's, there's way, I could do a different one every day and I would never even do them all once. So how do I know when I've got the best one for me and I'm doing it. And you know what? I had never heard that question before. And as soon as I got back to the hotel, Tim, I mean, as soon as I threw my bag down, I went to that computer and Googled and she was exactly right. And so I didn't even know if it was possible, but I had this thought, is there any way to combine all of the top natural healing modalities in the world into one process that is like turbo effective above everything else. I didn't even really think it was possible, but it really intrigued me. And, and, and because of my dyslexia and ADHD and all that stuff, I'm like, I'm like terminally curious. Okay. I can't <laughs> stop. I can't turn it off. Okay. So Long story short, over the course of six years, and, and let me tell you, there were many times I almost abandoned this thinking it's not possible, okay? But after six years, I cracked the code, so to speak, and Trilogy was born. Trilogy is the top 12 natural healing modalities of all time in one five minute process. I know it says on your screen, three minutes. That is, uh, there's a three minute version and a five minute version. I would never do the three minute version if you have access to the five minute version, all right? But Trilogy includes um, acupuncture points and meridians, which the freebie I just gave you for emotions and all that, that was, one thing, acupuncture points and meridians. Well, that's one of the 12 that the trilogy, okay? So trilogy has all acupuncture points and meridians. It has all chakras. It has governing and conception vessel, also called yin and yang. It has rapid eye therapies, which are the most popular therapies in the world right now for anxiety. 
There's over 100,000 practitioners in the United States alone, and you'll pay an average of 150 bucks a session for them. And what they do does not work nearly as well in, in my testing as what is in Trilogy. You've heard of affirmations. They don't work. The university studies came out saying, for most people, they make things worse. And mm -hmm. a whole lot of people doing affirmations got sued. Okay, do you remember years ago when they were when the big rage was all these uh, mental puzzle games in order to not get Alzheimer's or the old age neurological disorders? I mean, it was everywhere for about six years, and a lot of companies were making millions of dollars selling those things. Well, what most people don't know is when the studies came out. They said it doesn't work at all. And a lot of those companies got sued and went bankrupt, okay? Because it just doesn't work. Focus statements, on the other hand, work incredibly well where affirmations don't. So you have meditation, you have prayer, you have truth focus statements, chakras, meridians, uh, all of it, all of it. The top 12 modalities of all time into one five minute process, okay? And it is unbelievable. Our, our medical testing with heart rate variability on Trilogy indicated it within 30 minutes or less, 98% of all test subjects had their stress drop by 50% or more in 30 minutes or less with one five minute treatment. Ladies and gentlemen, to bring your stress down 50% or more in this world today would typically take a year or two of meditation, lifestyle change, um, uh, uh, taking time off. I mean, all kinds of stuff to get 50% of reduction in overall stress level, which would be, which by the way, would be life changing if you could reduce it by 50%. The medical testing on this, it does it in five minutes for the average person, okay? So um, Trilogy is the newest, latest, greatest, I believe in this entire field, not just for me, okay? And, um, and it is available to you tonight and the codes, the Trilogy codes are for, um, for um, gut health, for, uh, intestinal health, for um, stomach pain and all related issues. All of those are in Trilogy. But remember this, the freebie I gave you that is very, very effective, okay? That five-step acupuncture process, it's, it works great. But ladies and gentlemen, that is one thing, one of the 12 that's in Trilogy, all right? And let me tell you, the other 11 boost that. I have no idea how many times more effective it is, but it would be many times, okay? So Trilogy is, um, we are unveiling that tonight. That is available for you at a great price. Uh, when I first started selling the Healing Codes home study course, it was $795. And we sold hundreds of thousands for, of them for that. Now that's when we delivered it and it was like 10 pounds delivered by FedEx on your front door. It was hard copy. They didn't have digital back then. That's one of the reasons it was so expensive. But today for less than 200 bucks, you can get this that I believe is the next generation in emotional, natural health. And I don't think there's anything out there today that compares. Most things out there are one thing, remember. This is the 12 top things in the world going back to 1500 BC. And most of these 12 have dozens, if not hundreds of studies validating them. And my interventions, and now this is my latest intervention, have 18 double blind studies saying they work significantly to dramatically. Um, on every issue tested. 18 double blind studies. There's never been a double blind study that found it didn't work. All of them that have ever been done in the world 
have found that they work significantly to dramatically. And, they, and, and comparison studies say it works better than the most popular counseling therapy or life coaching in the world today that is called um, uh, cognitive behavioral counseling and therapy. Alex, can I jump in here for a second? I this works better. Go ahead, Tim. Yeah, hey, and uh, I, I don't want to interrupt you. I want to add to what you're talking about. So uh, this is a perfect time, and and uh, uh, and you, you you can relate this better than me, but tell everybody in a Cliff Note version what serotonin is and what it does. Well, it, it, it's it's... I don't know how I don't know how to put that in a capsule. Uh, okay, well, so let me uh, let me chip away at what I was implying here, and then we'll 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 do it together, kind of. Uh, and you help me where I where I have a deficiency. So the neurotransmitter serotonin is what is typically altered chemically by the pharmaceutical world. So they call their drugs SSRI. That stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor. So whoever, according to the guy at Walgreens. Whoever has the most serotonin is the happiest. So we, we're supposed to make it, we're supposed to use it, and we're supposed to get rid of it so that when we get rid of it, we have room to make some new shiny serotonin, not the old 300,000 mile rusted out serotonin in the, in the driveway. Alex, do you know where 80% of the serotonin in the human body is made? Gut. It's made in the gut. Now, listen, what Dr. Lloyd is talking about here, about all this emotional stuff and the gut health, I always say this, we're physiologically the same as we were when we were cavemen. And when I came out of my cave 3,000 years ago for breakfast, and I went to the apple tree, and I reached up to grab my apple so that I could digest my breakfast, and all of a sudden, I was in the shade and I looked up and the reason I was in the shade, there's a dinosaur looking at me. I'm not getting breakfast, I'm becoming breakfast, okay? And when I'm becoming breakfast, I, my body is no longer making digestive enzymes, I'm supposed to run. So what he's talking about here with all the stress and all the imbalance and all the neurologic dysfunction, it's because we're not able to digest calmly and peacefully anymore, we're running from the dinosaur. And that stress ruins the GI tract. Now, the, 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 the gastrointestinal dysfunction is necessary to break down the building blocks to repair. So if you can't have a balanced nervous system, how, how do we get there? Yeah, right. Yeah, and, 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 and you probably heard, I mean, Tim may have said that tonight, and I just don't remember, over 80% of your immune system is 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 not is in your gut uh, um yeah so so your gut being healthy is about i mean it's about on par to your brain and heart i mean those three really i mean everything is critical but brain heart and gut are just huge so uh tim uh and by the way um if if you get trilogy there's a 365 day money back guarantee for any reason and no one returns it, okay? But if you want to, you got a year. So no risk, try, try it for 364 days and we'll give you your money back. But my guess is you won't return it. Um, so let's go to Q and A, Laura. If, uh, so let's take this down and go back to our screen. See if we have any questions. If you have a question, you can type it in there. Uh, we'll go to the written Q&A questions first. Um, okay, Chuck says, what if I've been in LT3, Healing Code, Success Code, Trilogy, and have not gotten the results? Um, I hear that all the time, Chuck. Um, I hear it from people who the next month tell me I'm so sorry that I kept asking and complaining because now they've gotten the results, all right? Um, the longest person I have ever known with our interventions to get results was two years and nine months. And she somehow got my phone number and called me at least once a week. And she accused me of, of being a fraud, of lying, of making up our testimonials, all kinds of stuff. 
because she had three terminal diseases when she came to me. She was like 70 something, sweet lady. Um, and, and she was not seeing any change at all, nothing, okay? So I can understand how she felt that way. And in two years and nine months, she called me and I picked up the phone and I knew it was her. And she said, I am so sorry, please forgive me. I'm so sorry, please forgive me. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And she said, well, I've been complaining all this time that I wasn't getting results. And I just came back from my medical doctor yesterday and all of my terminal diseases are gone and they have no explanation. Well, did those diseases start healing at two years, eight months and 30 days? No, they started healing from day one and that's what the medical testing says as well and the double blind test, all right? So what that means is you're not there yet, all right? For some people it happens overnight, for some people in a week, for some people in three months, um, but you got to understand, most of us have hundreds of years into our ancestry of, of negative junk being passed down from generation to generation, okay? So you're not just trying to turn around your life, you're trying to turn around, in a lot of cases, hundreds of years of ancestry. And that can take some time for some people, but it's different for everyone. A lot of people uh, have overnight changes or short term. All right. So keep at it, Chuck. Um, let's see. Eileen says, to, this is for you, Tim. Do you take the pre, pre probiotic separate from the berberine or and when and how to take the chicory? Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's a great question. And uh, we went so fast that uh, that is, that's really my fault. She's asking that question because I just got the I got the water muddy. Great question. So uh, I don't want you to take the probiotics with the feeding step before you do the weeding step. And um, so don't just do number two. The best thing to do is to do all three of them for at least two months, and then to take uh, and then to take the uh, third step, the prebiotic inulin. The way the way that I like to do it, Alex is I take my prebiotic inulin with my coffee in the morning. I literally can swallow a berberine with that and then have another berberine at dinner. And then, um, uh, and then you take the total probiotic, uh, e either, either one, uh, uh, breakfast or dinner, uh, whatever's more convenient. I have all the supplements I take at two places. I'm always either at home or my office, so I do both. So uh, you take them all together. Now, when you get to the point where you've done all of them for a couple months uh, and we're no longer having gastric distress, no gas, uh, no bloating, no indigestion, having really good movements, then we can go to the uh, prebiotic inulin, like in your coffee or hot tea, just by itself. So at and first, we take them all together. And Tim, uh, we have another person asking what kind of berberine. So uh, Laura, if you'll bring up Tim's screen on the supplements, um, he's got the perfect berberine for you. Yeah, uh, Alex, this is, a, this is a prescription in Australia. My favorite nutritional company, one of them is Standard Process. And this is Standard Process's uh, uh, Medi-Herb line. It is unbelievable. And here's the thing, guys, and, and not, not to make fun of the situation, because it's not funny if it's your situation. I've had the most constipated humans on the planet finally, finally get their answer with berberine. And so when it says berberine active, you'll find out what the active is referring to after you take it. So here's the berberine and the, um, the inulin. And uh, we will post this just like we're going to post my. And there should be a total probiotic slide up, uh, up somewhere here. There it is right there. Uh, so that, that's the weed seed and the feed. All right, there you go. And this will be posted uh, right under the replay of this call uh, in, the, in the same place all of them are going to be posted. You can replay them. You can uh, still order. You can get the freebies from week one and week two for stress and anxiety. 
Um, if you have friends that need the freebies for this week for gut, intestinal, stomach, uh, the replay is there. They can access that too. Or if you want to go the supplement route, these are the perfect supplements. You can order those. Um, these are not available legally on Amazon. You may find them on Amazon, but they may be out of date or uh, a fraud uh, because uh, the, these are for professionals only. So um, that will be- hey, Alex, let me grab this next one here. Uh, good question by Judy on the best time to take the apple cider vinegar drink. Uh, no doubt about it, between dinner and bedtime. And remember, we talked about the apple cider vinegar helps us with something called glutathione esterase, and that's the garbage man that takes out the trash. And it really helps you with cleaning up the liver, which is usually done in your sleep. And when you do it before you go to bed, it helps you lose weight, helps you with blood sugar, and really helps you with LDL cholesterol. But it, it works way, way, way better between dinner and bedtime. So not only do that freebie and that recipe I gave you, but please do it uh, in the evening. And, um, and uh, before, before everybody leaves here, uh, I want you to know that in the webinar chat at the bottom of the Zoom screen, um, Laura has posted the, um, the links, although it seems like they disappeared. Oh, there they are, there they are. Uh, so click on webinar chat and you've got the links there for the supplements, uh, the links there for uh, Trilogy for Health, and the link where all the replays are going to be, including this one tomorrow. So uh, let's see what other questions. Uh, when do you take the apple cider drink, Tim? Yeah, that's that was the one we just talked about uh, oh, between sorry. dinner and bedtime. And then uh, it says, uh, can you touch on the seed step? I'm not sure what she's wanting there, but uh, when we kill the bad stuff, we've got to we've got to put something good in there to keep the bad from growing back. So. Uh, a lot of experts will say that there's about 30 good strains of bacteria out of all the, the strains of bacteria. Uh, the best formula I have ever seen is the total probiotic from uh, Neutral West. It's easy. Uh, you only have to refrigerate it after it's open. Uh, and it, ha it has a base of uh, Jerusalem artichoke. And Alex, I was giving you a hard time early on, and I don't think you caught it. You know, we were talking about millions and billions and all that. Do you remember uh, what was the movie uh, Austin Powers and Dr. Evil would put his finger in there and he yeah, would yeah, say yeah. millions. Well, I did the math on our total probiotics. We have 1.25 billion good bacteria. If you want to do it with a cup of yogurt, yogurt has 38,000 ish good bacteria. So get you a dump truck full of yogurt <laughs> and a really big spoon and don't leave home, but you can get it really efficient with, uh, 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 let's do it together, Alex, billions of, uh, billions. Yeah, yeah, of, uh, of good bacteria. And then uh, we have one more quick question there with, uh, oh gosh. Uh, well, Ben asked, do I start all the supplements at the same time? You know, so here we are trying to do this in a group. I would say for most people, yes. But if we have terrible gas, we have terrible constipation, we might want to do berberine for, uh, for a couple weeks before we start the other. Now, if we've gotten, just had lots of antibiotics, uh, we absolutely want to do all of them. And then uh, it really works well to do them all together. You can do berberine by itself. If you've done a really gut, good gut program, you feel like you're in a good place and you want to maintain it, you can do just prebiotic inulin. I rarely meet that person, to be honest. But don't do step number two, total probiotics. Don't just do that. Don't do, hey, this guy recommends this probiotic. All I want to do is probiotics. I'll just do that one. Don't do that. That would be wrong. And um, Marie uh, asked, uh, what was the fourth ingredient on the apple cider vinegar drink again? She missed oh, that. Oh, gosh. Uh, so water, apple cider vinegar, uh, cream of tartar, Himalayan sea salt, and uh, actually a lime. So I don't know which one of those uh, was supposed to be number four, but that's the, that's the recipe. So per 12 ounces of water, 
start with one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a quarter teaspoon of uh, uh, cream of tartar. And I went from tablespoon of apple cider vinegar to teaspoon of cream of tartar. Teaspoon on that one, that is, uh, that is potassium, be careful. Half teaspoon of uh, my favorite salt is pink Himalayan. And then uh, one lime uh, is the recipe. Phenomenal for hydration. Phenom you'll, Alex, with intermittent fasting, I'm a huge fan. If you'll let me one night, I would love to do intermittent fasting. And the per I found out after 25 years of practice, the best thing to eat is nothing. But listen, with intermittent fasting, all the misery uh, and the blues of fasting is really dehydration. And when we do this yeah. cocktail with that, it's phenomenal. It's so good for the gut. Yeah, I, I mean, I tell you what, um, I would do this. I would do this freebie apple cider vinegar drink, whether you have uh, gut stuff or not. Just sh at least short term, I think you're going to see your overall health increase as you do that. And these three supplements um, tend to work fast. All right. Mm -hmm. So if you need results fast, I would recommend going the supplement route. Yeah, it, 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 it's like, like we said, it's 1.25 billion bacteria fertilized and we're killing the weeds to give it a place to take hold. It's a really good program. Now, Mike said, uh, Mike put on here, NutriWest Total Pro Probiotic, uh, can it deal with weed seed and feed at the same time? Uh, my, my very strong opinion is we got a weed and get some bare spots before we seed. So I don't, I don't like to do just probiotics by themselves unless we have significant diarrhea or we just had a bunch of antibiotics and the antibiotics did the weeding for us. So um, it depends on the situation, but normally not by itself. All right. Um, Laura, do we have anyone? Um... Can we take a live call? Uh, I don't know how to do that. Um, let, let's not do that for now. Uh, uh, so I think that's all the questions we have for now, Tim. So any last words from you? Uh, yeah, brother, uh, let me just address. I think Eileen had a question and I, uh, uh, a little confusing. Uh, so um, for most people doing all three of the gut supplements at the same time, is uh, is fully uh, recommended, and I don't think uh, I don't think uh, there's any reason why we shouldn't just do that uh, if if we can. So uh, you don't have to do one for however many weeks before the other before the other. So uh, trying to clean that up a little bit, but uh, but brother, I, I appreciate you, and I want you to know that there's a huge uh, even as good as my supplement protocol is. There are people who don't get better with the gut stuff. And I think it's because they're running from the dinosaur. And, and, uh, and when the GI tract, when the body's is under stress and your serotonin is made in your gut and your gut's not working because you're in fight or flight, we, we have tremendous problems. And healing starts, my opinion, in the gut. And so I really think you and I uh, putting our uh, <laughs> heads together and filling in each other's deficiency there I think we're going to get people results who haven't had uh, haven't had layers of the onion added together to uh, to make the meal before. So I appreciate you. I wish I knew what you knew, and I and I know that I don't. So I'm I'm very happy that you're uh, uh, filling in the void there. So I don't uh, I don't know what you know either. But my two cents, ladies and gentlemen, on this is you cannot have health without gut health. It's impossible. And you can't have gut health with sky high stress. And you can't not have sky high stress without emotional health. All right. So emotional is absolutely essential in this recipe, no matter whether you do the supplements or not, the freebies or not, you've got to have emotional. Um, so I believe we need all three sides of that triangle for this one, and you cannot have health without gut, gut health. It's impossible, okay? Mm -hmm. So don't even try. If you don't have gut health, you've got to start addressing that, or there's no way you're going to get to overall health. It's absolutely impossible to do it without gut health. 
And Alex, so, if, if I could, can I, can I yeah, add a potential ahead. preview for next week? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so if, if it's okay with you, I think this would be a good time. We might, we might, we kind of did lower GI stuff tonight. I, I feel like we have, I have some great solutions that I can bring to the table. I, I have people who are absolutely miserable and tortured by GERD and acid reflux and, and uh, just it, it, it conquers their day, their voice is affected, their lungs, sometimes they're aspirating acid, their sleep's affected, uh, they're miserable, and they're making some pharmaceutical choices that are not in their long-term best interest to deal with that. And, and Tim, and that was me in my 20s. That was me in my 20s, okay. absolutely, absolutely big time. When you think a 20 year old man ought to be able to digest a two by four with nails in it, but uh, <laughs> not if you're under a lot of stress. That's right. And ladies yeah. and gentlemen, here's what I'll tell you. In my 20s, it was the man on, on my right, on my screen right now, who gave me the solution to that in my 20s and I've not suffered from it since. All right, so that's next week. Well, Alex, if you if you'll allow me, I'd love to share that. And I, I'll tell you a little secret. I knew a little bit when we were in our 20s, but I know a little bit more now. So we can do uh, get, uh, acid reflux, maybe even 2.0. And so uh, some people are absolutely crushed with that. And I know there's a tremendous amount of emotional uh, uh, component to acid reflux. Right. And, and, uh, and Judy, um, the, the recommended dosage will be on those supplements. It'll be on there. Well, and I, I can address that real easy. What I like for everybody to do on the supplements is one probiotic a day, because uh, that's 1.25 billion bacteria, uh, one scoop of prebiotic inulin in your coffee, and then one berberine twice a day, because most of us are filled with a lot of bad guys. And uh, watch what happens to your elimination when you do two of those. And uh, uh, you also, your flatulence, uh, Google that, uh, will, will uh, <laughs> just disappear. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, at the bottom of the screen in the webinar chat, you'll find the link for all the supplements, the link for Trilogy for Health that has the codes with all 12 of the natural modalities for gut health, uh, vulnerability, all the emotions that go with that, et cetera, and the link for where all of these will be posted, including this call tomorrow, with all the freebies from all three shows. So those are there. And, uh, Tell your friends so they can take advantage of the free things too. Um, that's why we're sharing them. So, Tim, uh, that's all for me. You got anything else tonight? Uh, yes, sir. I would like to wish everybody a happy Easter. And uh, I hope everybody has some good family time and uh, some good downtime to appreciate uh, Easter for all its uh, uh, intended uh, purposes. And uh, I, I hope you take what we did tonight and everybody goes in a positive step forward. And I appreciate you having me, Alex. And uh, let me be part of this with you. Yeah, uh, happy Easter, everyone. And I'll, I'll share this. I was doing some study on this uh, in the last week because of uh, Easter. And uh, Easter is the time for Passover. Most people know that. But what I had never known until this week when I was researching it is the, the Hebrew word, for Passover is to exit, which is what that was all about. Moses leave and the and the children of Israel leaving Egypt and the parting of the red of the Red Sea and all of that. That was the Old Testament Hebrew word for Passover, exit, which is exactly what was happening. But the New Testament word for Passover, same word, Passover, guess what it is? It's not exit. It's compassion, compassion. Isn't that beautiful? So this Easter, think compassion for yourself and for other people. And I, I, I hope you feel some of that compassion uh, 
uh, as you get your gut, gut health in line and the emotions, the chemistry, the structure, uh, I believe it'll it'll be life changing for you. And Tim, it is my honor to have you. Thank you. We we'll enjoy you, brother. We we'll look forward to next week, and we'll try yeah. to bring some uh, acid reflux answers to some questions. And uh, brother, you have a happy Easter with your family. I love you, and I'll see you uh, next week. Love you, Tim. Happy Easter, everybody. God bless you. Good evening, bye guys. Uh, Thanks for coming. Thank you, Laura. God bless thank you. Thank you, Laura. Yeah. That's a thank you.